Now, live from Studio 550, this is The McGraw Show on KTRS. All right, our guest is uh, Phil Brandt. He is with the AAIM Employers Association CEO. Phil, you have a uh, conference coming up? We do. We have a great conference coming up on May 9th. Uh, Jeff Fisher is going to kick off the conference uh, from the St. Louis Rams, uh, and it'll be all day conference. Jack Lanham is our keynote speaker from People First uh, at lunchtime, and then we're going to close it with a great healthcare discussion uh, for our employers and that with plenty of breakouts in between. Uh, okay, great. Now, um, open to the public? Open to the public. How That's do right. people get tickets? Uh, Where, visit, how do we go? Visit we our go? website, and they can, enreg- they can register online. Um, it's that easy. Okay, good. Yeah. And the website is? Uh, AAIMEA.org. A-A-I-M-E-A dot org. Dot org. AIM right. Employers Association dot org. And it's May what? It's May 9th. May 9th here in St. Louis. Here in St. Louis, kicking off with Jeff at 930. Okay, good. Now, uh, this happened to a friend of mine. Uh, they hired somebody. He hired somebody. And two interviews, three interviews, great interviews, tremendous interviews. They're hired. Day one, come on in, working great. Middle of day one. They come to my friend and they say, you know that person you just hired? The background check came back. Mm. They are one credit short from graduating from their university. It says on the resume that they graduated, though they're one credit short. They pull the person in and the person says, yeah, I just did never finished the class. I didn't hand the paperwork in. I didn't pay the $20. So why did you put it on your resume? Well, I, basically, I graduated. So the company was in a position of deciding whether or not to, to fire that employee. That's right. They fired her. They fired the girl because she lied on her resume. Small technicality, but she lied on the resume. Is that a, How often does that happen? That, that happens actually quite a bit. Um, so that's not a, an unusual situation. What's unusual about that is to hire someone, bring them on board before you get the background verification done to right. avoid the embarrassing moment of hiring and then having to, to let someone go. Right. So in that situation, it's better to say one credit Rich. hour short. That's right. I owe my $20. I haven't paid it yet. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. And, and, and that's always better. And that is one of the things people look for in, their, in the background verification is they're trying to understand how honest someone is. And they want to make sure exactly, they want to know who they're getting when they hire it. And- right. Um, it seems like an awful... It, it's, it's a silly technicality, um, but, you know, some of these people are investing a lot of money in uh, some very high-profile people and positions, and I think those technicalities can create embarrassment later. Yeah. I also, um, this friend of mine, uh, they asked me what I should do or what they should do, and... It was interesting. It's a, it was a bigger company, and the qualifications being what they were, they weeded out the qualifications. You needed a, a college de- degree. This applicant wouldn't have gotten past the first line of defense, if you will, the first cut, if, because she was one credit hour short. And that's why you see it happen all the time. Is you know they're a semester short. They're in the middle of uh, getting. You know they're in the middle of their final semester. They put it down. Right. And that they have graduated, and that allows, you know, sometimes there's computer systems that just shuffle that data out and says, here's the 20 that meet your qualifications. Right. And that's when the human interaction occurs. Right. And prior to that, it just, you get weeded out through a computer system. It's really fascinating how it all works. It, it, it is. And particularly with online technology today, it's changing rapidly in how that happens. Do you have... Pro- uh, can anybody do this background check, or do you need special investigative software? I mean, how, how did you go and find out that I lived, which, by the way, I didn't live, on 184th Street in uh, New York City? No. Nope. Or, or with, oh, uh, oh, here you go. 86th Street, New York, New York. I've never lived on 12th East, 86th Street, uh, apartment 925 in New York City. That might be my sister. Um, but, I mean, how did you go about finding that out well yeah to answer your question can anyone can ask us to do that for them and we would be happy to do it for them right um with written signature and giving us you know authority to do so sure and and every organization proper organization should do it that way right 
Um, but then what, what happens is you know, we have an investigative team that does the research and analysis through all the different courthouses throughout the country, all the state uh, programs and the database programs that are out there. There's not just one place you can go and get a credit and or background verification on every person. Gotcha. So it takes lots of resources, lots of database, lots of investigators. Right. I mean, I'm surprised that um, I've lived in a lot of places. I mean, I, <laughs> I'm not surprised. I'm surprised that I've lived in more than other people. You have. Yeah. On average, two and a half counties, the average U.S. citizen lives in only two and a half counties in their lifetime. Really? Yeah. That is yeah. really, I thought it'd be much more considering how many people are transit and move from it, it sounds well, but that's true. Yeah. yeah. Interesting. All right. Uh, all right, Rick, uh, excuse me, Phil, Phil Brandt, AAIM Employers Association CEO. When and where is that conference? That conference is May 9th. It's at the uh, airport Hilton at 7.30 a.m. 7.30 a.m. And that uh, kickoff is um, uh, Jeff Fisher. Jeff Fisher is kicking off. And that's, that's right. uh, open to all. That's open to all. And you can visit our website at AAIM or AAIMEA.org. You got it. Uh, Phil, thanks for coming in. Interesting Great. stuff. Thank you. Uh, 930 KTR.